Hi Thomas, it's a 2-0 win here up in Inverness today. Phenomenal result. Can I just get your reaction to the to the match today? I think I think we deserved it. The boys uh, right for start, we were at it. Uh, we pressed them. Uh, we weren't really dangerous with the possession that they had, and uh, we've made use of what, the chances we had in the possession. We'd obviously rode a lucky wee bit with the, the goal given offside in the second half, but even then, I think we were in full control and we touched popped up with the goal in the first half. And, uh, a great run for the penalty in the second half, but to come up here and get a clean sheet in three points is really satisfying and hopefully the run continues on Tuesday night. You've obviously been at the club a while. Um, it's the first victory in the club's recorded at this stadium. Over the years you might not have played too many because the clubs have been in different divisions, but I don't know if you were aware of that. It's the first no, the, the last time. I've only played once before this season uh, up here at Inverness. It was under Hoppy. Was it, it was the Scottish Cup. We get 4-0, but we're... It was a night that we were in the changing room for about 45 minutes half time because the floodlights went out, so uh, that's the only taste I've had before this season. But I think the two games we've been up here this year, uh, the point before and the three points today, if you can come up four points a season up here, then you'll take that all day. Yeah, another major landmark today was personal one for yourself, 200 appearances for the club. Uh, can you just tell me what that means to you? No, to, I'm to delighted to get there. So obviously, Tids are, it happened to Tids a wee while ago, but uh, coming here at 18 years old, I was always not sure how it would be but I've loved I've loved every minute of it. Uh, the, the second season obviously we finished second that group of boys and I've got a lot to thank Alan Moore for. He gave me my chance in the first team and something I'll never forget. Uh, but obviously since the gaffers came in I've kicked on and he's helped me a lot individually so I've loved every minute I've been at the club and uh, I hopefully continue to enjoy it. As a major landmark for any player to make two hundred appearances but Someone so young as yourself to, to make 200 appearances, does that add to it at all you to achieve that at such a young age? Yeah, I guess, obviously, well, I'm 24, obviously, some folk think I'm 34, but uh, no, I'll take that, I'll take that every day. I've, I've managed to be fortunate under Gaffer to play most games that he's been in charge, obviously, I've missed maybe a couple of injuries, but um, it's, it's it's brought me on a lot as a player, and uh, to make 200 at 24 years old is, I'm, I'm delighted with that. What's your highlights of the 200 appearances, anything stand out in particular? Uh, I'd say get my first goal. I enjoyed that first goal against St Martin as well. Uh, but just the changing room, I'm, I'm, the changing room does it for me. Obviously, the year we finished second, it was a lot older changing room. I was just the baby of the team, but uh, that that changing room was special. In the last three years, since the Gavers came in, Lee, Ricky, kids are coming back. All the, all the boys, they make it special and they make it fun every day to go in. So I couldn't ask for a better changing room. Just looking uh, going back to today, quite a few significant stats as well. Was that? Uh, it's four clean sheets in your last six matches as a club, uh, seven undefeated, six wins in your last seven, five of those seven have been away from home, you are in a tremendous uh, run of form at the moment. No, I think the boys are flying and there's a, there's a real uh, spirit about the camp and we, we know we're going into games knowing that we can win, obviously last week I think we had a wee blip, um, we let ourselves down a wee bit but to go away to Queen's and get a point knowing that we played not our best is, shows you how far we've come and, to come up to Inverness today and get a clean sheet again and get uh, three points is uh, it's standing as an instead for the rest of the season. Hopefully now Tuesday night uh, it makes it interesting for us and hopefully we can kick on from the end of the season. Does it add to the sense of achievement with how many injuries you actually have at the moment and the fact that you've played so many away games in a row and have so many away games upcoming? I, listen, everybody that comes into the team knows I've got a job to do. I think I said to Tids, I think we had seven seven boys wishing us good luck in the WhatsApp and the way up and that shows you how many injuries we've got, first team players. Uh, but the boys that have stepped in, um, it's not the, the team hasn't been too different in the last six games, maybe one or two changes, but the, the boys that come in, they know they've got a job to do and everybody's been doing their, their job brilliant. You can't single anyone out. Uh, it's been a real team performance the last five, six weeks and it's brilliant to be part of. The manager's not one for looking at the team, uh, uh, the league table or stats. I know you are one for your stats. That's you up to third in the table. Didn't you know that? Are you been looking at I it? Looked you it. must Obviously, be feeling good about that. We watched the game last night um, and we knew that if we won today then we'd go above Dundee United. But there's still a long way to go and obviously Dunfermline and Queen of South Toronto today has given us a wee bit more of a gap uh, to them. But no, I'm, deli I'm delighted with the, the way the, team, the team's going and the, the rewards of the table. But there's still a long way to go and hopefully we can kick on and get further up. Excellent, Thomas. Thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on the result today and making your 200th appearance for the club. Cheers, mate. Thank you.